So today I'm going to show you how to add new rows to a pivot table in Excel. So if you've worked in pivot tables, you may have noticed that if you add another row to your information, it will not be picked up on the pivot table. So for example, if I insert a pivot table here for a new worksheet, so I'm going to create a new sheet here, and I'm just going to make a very quick pivot table, customer name and price total. Okay, so I've got all my customers here and the amounts that they spent. Um, but if I add a new customer, and I'm just going to copy and paste and give them another name. Okay, so now we should see Tom Hanks on the pivot table, right? I'm going in, I'm going to right click, refresh, nothing. That's so weird. So he doesn't get added. Interesting. So now um, I'm going to just delete that and just for kicks, I'm going to test if it works if I change something in the existing pivot table. So if I change Betty White to Tom Hanks, I just want to see if that works. Refresh. Yes, it does. There's no more Betty White and there's a Tom Hanks. So the problem isn't that I can't edit. Oops. Change that back to Betty. The problem is I can't add a new row. I can only edit what's already been filled in after I create the pivot table. So how do I create a table in which I can update the information, including adding rows that will be reflected on my pivot table later? Uh, you have to do this from the start. So I'm going to delete the pivot table that I created and I'll have to make a new pivot table from scratch. But before I do that, I need to make the information I have into something called a table. Once it's a table, it will be able to be added to, taken away from, changed, and that information will still be able to be updated on the pivot table. So right now I just have a bunch of data. I don't have a table. So what I need to do is select all of the information I have, all the relevant information, everything that's filled in, go to format as a table under home. So the home tab, we have these styles, format as a table. You can pick any visual style you want for this. I personally am not attached to any of them, so I'm just gonna pick that one. And now I know it's a table because I see this little backwards L shape in the bottom right corner. That is indicating to me that this is a table. So now I'm going to make a pivot table from this. So I go to insert, pivot table, new worksheet. Okay, so here we go. Let's get all that information we had from our last one. Uh, price total. Okay, so now the test is can we add Tom Hanks as another customer? Orders. Here we go. We're going to, I'm just going to copy Betty White <laughs> for uh, ease here and then just change her there. Okay. So it does look like she's uh, he's included in the table because that little L has moved down and we've added one row. Let's see if we can have this reflected in the pivot table. So it doesn't show up right away. We need to refresh it. So make sure you're in one of the cells of that pivot table, right click, hit refresh. There he is. Okay, so now you got it. If you want a pivot table that shows information as it's been updated, if you've added rows, you're going to need to make sure it's in table format before you create a pivot table. That's what this is all about. So I hope that this helped you guys. I definitely find it helpful myself. And uh, if you're looking for more tips and tricks in Excel, I have a whole playlist. Thank you for watching.